Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So in today's video we are doing another Battle of the Dupes. If you are new to the Battle of the Dupes or you're new to my channel, basically what this is is I try out a high-end product that's really popular and the most common dupes to find out which dupe is closer to the actual product. And today the product that we are duping is the very raved about, very talked about Fenty Beauty Foundation. So for those of you that aren't familiar with Fenty Beauty, it's a new makeup line launched by Rihanna and it's been getting a lot, a lot of hype here on YouTube and all over social media. So I thought for those of you that don't want to spend the big bucks on this foundation, I would show you a couple of the dupes that I've seen here on YouTube, on Pinterest, and talked about online so that you know without a doubt the best dupe for this product. Usually when I do Battle of the Dupes, I talk about both of the dupes and then decide which one seems better and then show you a side-by-side -side application. But since we're talking about foundation today, I thought the only fair way to do it would be to actually wear both foundations all day long and do a wear test. So that's what we are doing in today's video. So before we get into the wear test and the actual application of the products, I want to go ahead and tell you what the dupes are as well as their similarities and differences just on paper. So the first dupe I'm going to be talking about is this foundation by Catrice. This is sold only at Ulta online and it is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. So looking at it next to the Fenty foundation, they both have beautiful packaging, glass bottles. The Fenty foundation has a pump whereas the Catrice one has a dropper applicator. There's quite a hefty price difference here. This one retails for $35 whereas this one retails for $11. And you're getting pretty much the same amount of product. This has 1.01 fluid ounces and this has 1.08. So very minimal difference in terms of the amount of product you're getting. The Fenty foundation claims to have a soft matte finish. This one claims to have a natural matte finish. Very similar claims there. And they both claim to be medium to full coverage. The consistency of these two is extremely similar. They're both pretty runny, liquidy products, which is rare for matte finishes. Usually you find more of a moussey, thicker formula with matte foundations, but both of these have managed to keep the consistency very, very thin. But one of the biggest differences between these two foundations, at least on paper, is the Fenty Beauty Foundation comes in 40 different shades, which props to Rihanna. She has covered every skin tone from the lightest shade to the darkest shade you can think of, and I'm glad that shade selection is becoming more of a conversation. This one fails in that department. This one only comes in four different shades. I got the third darkest shade and it's too light for me. So shade selection on this formula is terrible. So that is dupe number one that we will be testing. Dupe number two is one that you guys are very familiar with if you have been watching my channel for a while. It is my current favorite foundation and when I saw it was a dupe for the Fenty one I had to test it out. And It is the number seven beautifully matte foundation. This one is more expensive for the drugstore. This is a $17 foundation. That still is half the cost of this $34 foundation. The number seven one comes with one fluid ounce. This one again 1.08 so very similar amount of product. They both claim to be long wearing, medium to full coverage, and have a soft matte finish. This one's supposed to be a little bit more matte than the Fenty one. This one's soft matte, this one is matte matte. That said, you guys know I am very familiar with this foundation and this is more of a soft matte finish. It still looks like skin. The number seven one definitely beats out the Catrice foundation in terms of a color selection, but certainly doesn't beat out the Fenty foundation. This one comes in 11 different shades, but it's still got nothing on the 40 shades Fenty has. A couple other things that set this one apart is that it is hypoallergenic and it has an SPF of 15, but this one is not a glass bottle. It doesn't feel as expensive as the Fenty one or as the Catrice one, but it does have a pump like the Fenty one. So yesterday I did a wear test comparing the number seven foundation to the Fenty foundation. I am currently doing the wear test comparing Fenty to Catrice. So I'm going to go ahead and give you my thoughts on the comparison between these two in the wear test, show you the application process, and then I'll be back at the end of the day to give you an update on the Catrice wear test and give you my final thoughts on which one is the better dupe. So to keep everything fair, I went in with absolutely no primer and applied the number seven foundation to the right side of my face and the Fenty foundation to the left side of my face. I did shake the Fenty foundation very well as it states you need to and did not shake the number seven foundation because that is not in the directions of use. I applied to both sides using the same applicator which was the e.l.f. highlighting sponge and used the same amount of product on each side of my face. The colors are a pretty similar match 
much, much closer than as you'll see later with the Catrice foundation. So I would say upon initial application, I liked the side with the Fenty foundation on it better. It had more coverage and a little bit more of a natural looking finish than the number seven. Even though the number seven still obviously looked beautiful, you guys know I love this foundation. The Fenty one really impressed me upon initial application. That said, at the end of the day, I'll show you guys a close up of how everything was looking. Obviously I'm oily, so there definitely was oil on both sides of my face. This was about an eight hour wear test with no touch ups. Both sides held up with coverage pretty well. They held up my oils about the same, but the side with the Fenty foundation had some major buildup. I don't know how well it's gonna translate to you guys, but it had some major buildup around my nose that the side with the number seven foundation did not have. So like I said, upon initial application, both sides looked great. The Fenty side looked a little bit better, had a little bit more coverage, but they held up the same throughout the day. In fact, I think the number seven side held up even better than the Fenty side. Okay, so moving on to Catrice versus Fenty. Again, I eliminated all variables, no primer, same amount of product, and same applicator. It was again the e.l.f. highlighting sponge, and I applied the Catrice foundation to the right side of my face, the Fenty foundation to my left. Obviously, the Fenty foundation was a much closer match in terms of tone the Catrice foundation was much too light for me, but they both applied very similarly. These are a lot more similar in terms of consistency. They're both very thin and set very quickly. The number seven takes a little bit longer to set, so you have more time to play around with it, whereas both of these, the Catrice and the Fenty, you need to work pretty fast. So they both blended out beautifully. They applied about the same amount of coverage and looked pretty much equal on both sides of my face upon initial application. So like I said, I am currently doing the wear test for these two foundations right now so I'll be back with you at the end of the day to let you know how both foundations held up on my face and then give you my final verdict on which dupe is better so if you are interested in finding out just keep on watching hey guys so it is now the end of the day and I wanted to let you know how the Catrice foundation held up when compared to the Fenty foundation I'll give you guys a close-up so that you can see everything clearly as you can see the right side of my face where I applied the Catrice foundation looks a little bit less shiny than the side with the Fenty foundation both sides look pretty much completely intact outside of a little bit of dryness around my mouth but there is the same sort of breaking up of the foundation on both sides and that's just dryness on my skin right now because of the changing of the season. The Fenty foundation again did bunch up right here around my nose and it did not with the Catrice one and I would say that this side of my face is more of a truly natural matte finish whereas the Catrice side is more leaning on just matte. So a final verdict, I think they're both actually really amazing dupes for different reasons. I think the number seven foundation had a more similar finish on the skin and it wore very similar throughout the day. It also does have a pump and it offers more shades, more similar to the Fenty foundation. That said, the Catrice one, even though it's a little bit more matte than the Fenty foundation, has a very similar consistency. The packaging, even though it doesn't have a pump, feels a lot more high-end because of the glass packaging, very similar to the Fenty one. It does only have the four shades, which I think is the biggest downside to this one, as I've mentioned. But where this one pulls ahead, in my opinion, is the consistency of these two are unmistakably very, very similar. They're both runny and they both set very quickly, so you have to work pretty fast. They're also more similar in terms of coverage, more leaning toward a medium to full coverage, where I would call the number seven foundation a true medium coverage. This one also does not have an SPF and would be really nice for flash photography, whereas the number seven one, like I said, has an SPF of 15. So because of the formula, the packaging, the application process, and the coverage it provided, I would have to say that the Catrice foundation is just slightly a better dupe than the number seven beautifully matte foundation. But I know that there are only four shades in this foundation. So if you can't find a match with this one, but you can with this one, keep in mind, I still think this is a pretty good dupe, just not as good as the Catrice one. So let me know down in the comments which dupe you thought performed better and give it a thumbs up if you enjoy these dupe off type of videos. And don't forget to subscribe if you are new here so you can join our family and I will see you guys in my next video.